Canadian authorities say a gunman killed more than a dozen people over a 12-hour rampage in Nova Scotia. It's the worst act of mass murder the country has seen in more than three decades. 51-year-old Gabriel Wartman shot people in several locations across the province, according to the Royal Canadian Mounted Police on Sunday. They also say the investigation is still ongoing. Chief Superintendent Chris Leather said, Police discovered the killings late Saturday after responding to reports of gunfire. Shots were heard at a house in the small coastal town of Porta Peak, 80 miles north of Halifax. Leather described scenes of chaos. The initial search for the suspect led to multiple sites in the area, including structures that were on fire. The search continued overnight and into the morning. This morning, we actively sought out the suspect through multiple communities throughout Nova Scotia. The search for the suspect ended this morning when the suspect was located, and I can confirm that he is deceased. At one point, police traded gunfire with Wartman, but did not confirm a report by Canada's CTV network that said the RCMP shot him. Wartman seems to have run a denture clinic. However, Leather added at one stage the gunman appeared to wear part of a police uniform and had also painstakingly disguised his car to look like a police cruiser. Heidi Stevenson, one of the victims of the attack, was one of the RCMP's own officers, a 23-year veteran of the service who died responding to the incident. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau extended his condolences in a press conference on Sunday. My hearts go out to everyone affected in what is a terrible situation. I want to thank the police for their hard work and people for cooperating with authorities. The violence is the worst of its kind in Canada since 1989, when a gunman killed 15 women in Montreal. Mass shootings are relatively rare in the country, which has tighter gun control laws than the United States.